Good evening, teacher. Hi, how are you? I'm fine. What about you? I'm okay, oh. thank you. Okay. Hey, listen, have you been watching the news? No, it, it, this, this, this day I, I haven't uh, been watching TV. <laughs> yeah, what's going on in Afghanistan? Ah, yeah. Only, only on the Facebook is a, uh, is a, uh, many people are so worried about the want to escape the, the, the from the Afghanistan and, and the uh, some people uh, uh, fall, fall the 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 airplane uh, and fall in the in the in the uh, and the in the in the in the, in the, floors, in the, in the airport. And what happened? They they jump they jump from the airport from the. No, because uh, some some people's uh, some uh, is um, I, I don't know where it's press is uh, um, uh, it, it is about the fear for the for the leaf is yes. uh, in, in the the uh, tren de aterrizaje se agarraron ahí. <laughs> are, are there any casualties? Any dead people yet? No. Yes. 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 Because uh, one people fall, fall uh, when the the when the airplane is is a uh, um, I don't when the know. airplane was taking off. Ah, taking off when the airplane taking off. Uh, when people uh, fall in the, in the people jump from the airplane. Jump for yes. Oh man! Wow, so hey. it's, a, it's a terrible scene for the. Oh Good my. Anyways. God, look, Andy Garcia in The Godfather 3. <laughs> <laughs> I shaved the weekend. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen The Godfather 3? Um, um, I think so. Wait, no, no, no. no. You can't say, I, I can't remember. I mean, Godfathers are those type of movies That's that you the, can't say. With the, with the horse, horse head in the, in the bed. No, that's the second one. The second one. No, I don't, don't remember the third one. Oh my god. It was the worst one, but but you know, it was the godfather, so <laughs> how was your weekend? Um, yeah, just a regular weekend. Um, you know, uh, watching movies, uh, went to the to the mall, and that's it. And just rest in the house. <laughs> All right. Yeah. You went to the mall. Yeah, Metro Centro. On the oh man, I imagine it was packed. Yeah, I, it was really, really full. And you went with your family. Mm -mm. Just with my wife. Just we we're going just to buy one specific thing and that's it. <laughs> and you took three hours. Ah, uh, two. <laughs> yeah. yeah. the The worst part was uh, the the parking. Yeah, Man, really. That's a really pain in the, you know, where. <laughs> yeah. No. Yeah. It's it's very stupid. Yeah. Yeah, I I really I really 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 hate going to Metro Centro. Yeah, you know why Same everybody here. goes there. Everybody goes there. I mean, for no reason. They just let's go eat an ice cream to Metro Centro. Yeah, <laughs> that's it. And and they're just know. walking around and doing nothing. Oh, man. Yeah, that's why. I mean, I I prefer to go to maybe um La Gran Vía. Well, I don't like going to malls. Yeah. The only thing I like about Metro Centro is that you see very cheap stores. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But that's it. Yeah. Yeah. True. Sure. We were talking with uh, Ricardo about what's going on in the news today. Have you seen it? Uh, yeah. Afghanistan. Yeah. Do you uh, know anything about it? I haven't seen it. Uh, what I heard was the president flew, flew, flee. How do you say? Flee? Fled. Fled. 
Yeah, the he president. Fled. Yeah, he fled with a, a lot of money in the cars. <laughs> and, really? Uh, yeah. The president of Afghanistan. Yeah, and 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 the money uh, were in in the cars. I don't know how many cars, uh, but the he left. Uh, I don't know three or two cars filled with money because they don't fit in the plane. <laughs> oh, so all the money was in the in the cars, and he was yeah. putting it in the plane. Oh my god! Yeah, and he left. His people. Um, are they areneros um, by any chance? Arena exists in Afghanistan. I don't think so, but they. <laughs> I, I saw the communication. <laughs> they communicate, right? Did you see that? <laughs> no, no. Did they? Yeah, sacaron meme. Yeah. They they say we proclaim that the is Bukele's fault. <laughs> <laughs> because uh, we, we're going to the same point <laughs> and and we're taking all the money and when we get arrested we will be <laughs> pursued for politician by political yeah. pursuits <laughs> yeah man i don't know man it's too extremist you know you know what i think is very stupid right now in the in the in the local news this mm -hmm. bukele sister thing Uh, yeah, I saw that, man. That, but that, that but you know what? I'll be honest with you. I think, I think that trick is Bukele. Is is not from Arena. I think it's from Bukele. Or, or from his Why people. Why you say that? Because I've I've watched only three videos. Okay, number one. Yeah. When she's talking, they don't show her face. Yeah. I was watching a video yesterday of Romeo Lemus. And Romeo Lemos, I mean, he was saying, oh, listen to this man, tell everything to her face, to the, so I think there was a presentation yesterday, I don't know in what Pueblo, mm -hmm. ah, and, yeah, it. and she was there, yeah. and the man was like, I don't know, it, everything was like orchestrated, mm -hmm. but they never showed her face, I mean, casualidad. The person that was recording, he was only recording the man and not her. I, mm. I don't know, but I, it, that, that's very stupid novella right there. But yeah, it's, it's not well made. But it's <laughs> he says, I know it's my brother, my brother. <laughs> that's why I don't like him. But they never show her face. I mean, if you're recording a fight in the street, mm -hmm. you want to record everything, right? Yeah, but they never record her. But and the reason why I think it's a Bukele thing is because, I mean, come on, Romeo Lemos is, is a Bukele follower. Yeah, and he was posting it on his on his, um, his channel on his channel, so that's why I started thinking yesterday. Hmm, this is fishy. Mm. You know that mm. expression? This is fishy. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, I mean. Mm -hmm. Hey, Eduardo, what's up? Hi, Janita. Hi, Michelle. Hi, Mr. Good evening. Hi, Mr. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, hey. Hi, everyone. Do you guys know who this person is? Which one? No. No idea. I don't know. I don't know who is him. Valentino, no. Look at Gio, man. Nah, yeah. man. That's it's Gio's else. brother. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's Gio in a tuxedo. Cardel. <laughs> no, that's Andy Garcia. Yeah. Andy uh, Garcia. He actually became the Godfather in part three. Hmm. He was a bastard. He was the bastard son of the original Godfather. Yeah. The bastard. Do you know that word is actually formal, bastardo? Like, for example, formal. I am a bastardo. And um, it sounds offensive, but it's not. Mm -hmm. 
it's very common in the US, right? I, I, my, my cousins <laughs> regularly, they name each other, hey man, stop, 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 stop yelling, you bastard. <laughs> Yeah, but you know, it's like it's like esta preñada. You know, people say it sounds offensive, but it's actually the formal word, the technical yeah, word. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I have a question, but bastardo, what means or what, what do you mean when you say bastardo to someone? Okay, I'll give you an example. Um, I I had residency in the United States and I lost it because my father and my mother. Um, my father, his last name is Lopez. My mother's last name is Baltrons. But my name is Baltrons Lopez. It should be Lopez Baltrons, but yeah, it's actually. Yeah. And um, I never understood that because they were never friends. They hated each other, you know. I mean, every time I spoke with my father, he always said, Hey, is your mom dead yet? No. Oh, man. Or my mom. Hey, tell your dad to kiss my ass. You know, I mean, they hated each other. And I never understood that. So when I went to the United States and I was very small, I was I only had two names. I mean, in the United States, you only have one last name. It was Baltrans. I never had Lopez. And I never understood because my father actually, in the in my birth certificate, he he recognized me as a son. So I never understood that. And one day I was, I had to, um, I was visiting here and my Dewey expired. Oh no, my green card expired or something expired from the United States. And I changed it. And when I went to change it to the embassy, now, oh yeah, I remember. My cedula said Lopez Baltrons. And they, but, they asked me, my, my Dewey. Who is Lopez Baltrans? It was me. Okay, why? What would I mean? Yeah, and and they were right because they had, they had the the names changed, and I told them because my father is Lopez, but in the United States, David Baltrans exists, not David Lopez Baltrans, and I. So they punished me, and this was in the year two thousand and one. So it was like when the September eleven. So they were very picky. No, in two thousand two. No, cuando fue. 2002. So when I got married, I asked the lawyer, is my wife going to be Baltrons or Lopez? And he only looked at my birth certificate and he says, oh no, she's Baltrons. You're Baltrons. And I said, why? Can you please explain that to me? When I was born, there was a law in San Salvador that if you are born under a married couple, you are a legitimate son. If your parents were not married, you're considered a bastard. Un bastardo hijo fuera matrimonio. Oh, okay. And I, and I asked him, how do you know that? My birth certificate has a B on, on the corner. My wife has an A. And he says, look, pero mi papá me reconoció. Yeah, but he says, look, dio los datos. El señor Carlos, blah, 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 blah. But since they were not married, the law automatically gave me my mother's name. But mm. the law changed like two, two days because every kid in El Salvador was a bastard. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> yeah, so they changed the law, pero era una ley española. So a bastard is a son born out of a marriage. Out of the marriage. Well, okay. I, I didn't know that word. Yeah. I, I, until that day, you know, it, we say it as offensive, bastardo, man. Yeah. Like, but really, it's, it's, the for, it's, a, it's a formal word. It's an, you know, it's like saying adopted. I'm adopted. I'm a bastard. So um, that's what I had to learn the hard way. So that's, and then I had to, when I learned that, I had to change all my paperwork to normal David Baltons. So if my parents had gotten married, I never would have had all that problem. Yeah, so that's, that's what a bastard is. A 
bastard. So that, that's why the, uh, in The Godfather, Andy Garcia is the bastard son of Sonny. And Catholic people really took that seriously. All right, cool. Let me see. Let's do, let's see what this lady has to say. So we finish this. Mixed conditionals. Let's see what mixed conditionals are. Hello. In this class, we'll go over mixed conditionals. Stay and listen to the explanation. But they don't even. Yes. Mixed conditionals. Yes. Use had or hadn't plus past participle and would or wouldn't to talk about hypothetical events in the past that have effects on the present. The example I just gave you, if my parents had gotten married, I wouldn't have had so many problems like with my name. <laughs> All right, so look, we use had and hadn't or in past participle and would to talk about hypothetical events in the past that have effects on the present. Or on the present. Like um, Rodrigo Avila said, if the majority of Salvadorians have voted, <laughs> or if the majority of Salvadorians have voted, uh, Bukele wouldn't be the president in this moment. He said because only the people that voted for Bukele were the people that voted. <laughs> but you see how something in the past has a consequence right now in the present. I can say, if your father and mother hadn't met, you wouldn't be here. If my mother had only married Oma or, or someone, I would be rich. In the present, if we hadn't been so nice, we would still have our cash. If someone had broken into your room, you would probably still be trying to get home. Conditional sentences are made up of if clauses and result clauses. In mixed conditional sentences, past and present are mixed to talk about hypothetical situations such as, if she hadn't saved so little money, she would be able to afford a new car now. If you had made reservations, you wouldn't be looking for a hotel now. Let's take a look at these examples. If Anna hadn't forgotten her passport, she would be on the plane right now. If Anna were more organized, she wouldn't be looking for her keys now. Read the sentences again. Are the if clauses past, present, or future? Very good. They are in past. Are the result clauses past, present, or future? Perfect. They are in the present. Take note that in a mixed conditional sentence, the time of the event or situation in the if clause can be different from the time of the result of the event or situation. All right, let me let me ask you guys something. I'll start with you, Ricardo. Hey. La Liga is in trouble in this moment, no? Yes. Can you give me an example of a, a hypothetical situation in the past that is affecting the future, the present? If uh, if Messi hadn't changed the the, the team. If Barcelona, um, uh, La Liga, could La Liga could be uh, could be the center of famous. attention. Uh, the, uh, the, the center of attention Good. today. Yeah. You know what? Yesterday, I don't know if you watched the game yesterday. Now, not every. I remember before Barca, every channel had Barca, and yesterday I couldn't find one channel that. Like Fox One, Fox Two, ESPN One, Two, at TDN. It's like Messi left, 
and he took a lot of things with him. Yes. <laughs> so La Liga is really going to be affected by that. He got affected with Cristiano Ronaldo. But since yeah. Messi was still there, you know, it was still on the limbo. But now without Messi, it's like, forget it. Yes. So, but that was very good. So if Messi hadn't ch changed teams or if Barcelona had kept Messi or if La Liga had made a bigger effort to keep Messi, um, La Liga would be still the center of attention today, but it's not. All right, Giovanni, you look like a person that studies the Bible very much. Mm. So um, can you give... <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give an example. Eve and the mm. apple. Mm -hmm. uh, if, if Eve hadn't hadn't eat, ate, hadn't ate. As uh, participle. If Eve hadn't eaten, eaten, eaten. I hadn't eaten the apple, um, the history of humanity would be different. Yes, we would all be naked and eating from trees in the yeah. you know, like, <laughs> with angels. But no, she had to eat the apple. Like carrot beans. Yes, imagine everybody, we would be naked and just eating fruits in paradise. Mm -hmm. no. no, good. That's a hypothetical situation, right? Like, so if Eve. Yes hadn't eaten the apple, the history of humanity would be different according to the Bible. Yes, Eduardo. Yeah. That wedding party in COVID. Okay. If I wouldn't... If, if I, I wouldn't, hadn't. Okay. If I hadn't got COVID, I would have been to the party uh, that, that I had that, 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 that Sunday. No, no, you're oh. saying everything backwards. You got the COVID in the party, right? Okay, okay, I get it. Okay, I get it. If That's I wouldn't you got COVID, right? Yeah, party? exactly. Yeah, okay. yeah, I got it now. Okay. If I wouldn't, if I wouldn't have been, no, if I wouldn't get to the party, I wouldn't got uh, COVID. Okay, good, good, if almost. If I hadn't gone to the party, there you or go. if I, I hadn't attended, I wouldn't have the COVID. Okay. I wouldn't if have I, gotten. Okay, no. I, I wouldn't got, I wouldn't got, hadn't. No, I wouldn't. Or, because you still have COVID, right? In this moment? No, not anymore, no, not anymore. Technically, technically, maybe. Yeah, no, <laughs> not, not anymore. That they already passed 15 days. I'm, I'm free oh, now. Okay. Oh, okay. But let's say, let's say, imagine you have COVID in this moment. Yes. Okay. If I hadn't attended that party, if I hadn't gone to that party, I wouldn't have COVID right now. Okay. If I wouldn't have, if I wouldn't uh, have been in the party, uh, I wouldn't have, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have COVID uh, right now. Yes. There you go. Okay. Okay. Um. Daddy. Hola. Hola. Sorry. Hi. I'm screaming. No, no, no. To, <laughs> to the dog or to the person behind to you? To the dog. She's okay. barking. I don't know. I think because there's a person behind you. No. <laughs> because she's in the, in the living room. <laughs> All right, Caddy. Um, where do you work? At work at CBS. CBS. Mm -hmm. How long have you worked there? Two years. And how did you start working there? Uh, a friend that recommended me. So what happened? Mm -hmm. Okay, so now give me that example. So if okay. your friend... If my friend hadn't recommend recommended... Me, recommended me for the job I wouldn't be work I wouldn't be working there 
Very or I good. wouldn't be working at CVS. Exactly. Nice. I like. Michelle. Yes. How are you, Michelle? I'm fine. Really fine. All right, Michelle. Unes is in Nicaragua, right? Yes. Why? Uh, if Mauricio Funes hadn't stolen so much money, he wouldn't be escaping the law. Okay, very good. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> right, doing solo, right? Without thinking about it. That's cool. Yeah, if he hadn't stolen so much money or or like he says not him maybe the people around him but not him he okay. wouldn't he wouldn't be running yes or if you know what if he wouldn't if he would have let's let's say something positive if he would have stolen maybe just a little money he would maybe be enjoying right now like, um, but he exaggerated. Yanira. Hello. Hi. Hello, Yanira. Hello. So let me see. Let me give, give me an example with your ex-boyfriend that he proposed <laughs> to you. But you said no. For example... If he hadn't been so jealous, uh -huh. we will be together yet. Oh, okay. Oh, that's a very good example. So if he hadn't been so jealous, we will be together, together yet. still. Still. You know the difference between still and yet? No, I don't know. When it was yet. Excuse me? Uh, we use get for negative sentences. But for what type of negative sentences? Mm, present perfect. I don't know. <laughs> no, no, no. That's good. Okay. Yet and already. Okay. We use already when the action finished. Mm. For example, I already finished. I already went. I already saw the movie. Or in negative, I haven't already finished. But it's actually already means finished. Yet is like Michelle says for something negative and you haven't. I haven't finished yet. Yes. Hi, doctor. No, man, I haven't finished yet. I still have one more year. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. But when you say yet, that means, but you're still in the process of finishing. Mm. But for example, if you stop studying medicine and you're not going to continue, you can't say yet. Hi, doctor. No, no, I'm, I already stopped. Mm -hmm. But we use yet when something's not finished. So in this case, still is aún. So if your boyfriend hadn't been so jealous, you would still be together. Yeah. All right, cool. Okay. Your boyfriend, your ex-boyfriend was jealous? Yes, a uh, lot. Oh. oh man, that's that's the worst thing in a person, man. Jealousy is so <laughs> my 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 brother, man, he had a toxic girlfriend and she was she was crazy. Mm-hmm. I remember one time we went to uh, the beach, La Costa, and you know that little supermarket by La Costa? The famous no. mini super? No, Dude, th the girls from H Bahia were there. Mm -hmm. But they were buying things, like, they were buying things, and we were in La Cola, and they were, like, right in front of us, in Hilo, so they were in bikini. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I was like, the temptation. I mean, yeah, you know. I mean, my wife, my girlfriend at that time, she she says like, yeah, 
you know, and um, I remember my, my brother's girlfriend, she, she exploded. You stupid. What are you looking? Oh, my God. Mm, wow. A woman almost naked, a beautiful, beautiful woman, almost naked. And of course, my brother wasn't looking at her like, Eef. but, oh, you know, like, oh, my God. <laughs> like, you know, like, oh, God, man. This is a test, God. This is a test. And then she mm -hmm. was, oh, man. And the funny thing is that my brother left her there. <laughs> yeah, that was, it was a very uncomfortable, um, uncomfortable uh, vacation. One time I was driving and my wife was next to me. And uh, in this stop, there were like three men, very, very handsome men, but they were maybe like, south american like argentinian because they were blonde but like they were like surfers but you know they were handsome and i just look at my wife because i think they were ready to cross the street and i look at my wife like hmm, you know hmm. in situations like this how does she act and you know she was like pretending she was like on her phone and i remember mommy <laughs> so what Oh, please. I feel more stupid if you're pretending you're not looking at them. <laughs> oh, please. Hasta yo lo estoy viendo. <laughs> yeah, you know, I mean, come on. And that happened to me one time, too, because we went to the beach and then this woman just started like doing yoga, like really in front of us. And I told my wife, look, Aflijita si no me le quedo viendo, man. <laughs> like, really, because any man has... To... Yeah, but anyways, uh, jealous people are very toxic. Yeah. That's why I finished my relationship with Scarlett Johansson. She was toxic. <laughs> All right. So, do you understand that? So, if I hadn't, if I had, or it's not only, it's not all negative, right? So you can say if, like I told you, like my, if my parents had gotten married, I wouldn't be a bastard son. I wouldn't be a bastard. Yes. All right. Any questions on that? No. Uh, no. Have you noticed now that when you get older, you start talking a lot? Now that when we start getting older, we start talking a lot of situations like if I had, like, man, if I had studied English when I had the time, I would be learning French in this moment. Because remember when we were in the university that we didn't work? I mean, our only job was to go to the university and we had all the time in the world to study English or something different and we didn't. And now we need it. And people say that, man, teacher, if I had studied when I had the time, when I had the time, because now you're making an extra effort to, to study because I know you work all day, you have families and you study at night. All right. So let's see what's next here then. Instructions, let's do the knowledge check. Hold on, let me do one thing here. So it says here, number one. Number one, Eduardo says, oh, let's do, you know, if okay. I blank, more adventurous, oh no. <laughs> The answer. <laughs> okay, okay, I will do. I will do number one. You will do number okay. two. Okay. If I had been more adventurous when I was younger, I I wouldn't be such a sissy. Do you know what a sissy is? Sissy, es como decir mariquita. But uh, you know, like, ah, come on, don't. But it's not, it's not really offensive. You say, ah, come on, don't be a sissy. 
vamos a ver la película. No, man, no me gustan las películas de miedo. Come on, man, don't be a sissy. All right, so number two, Eduardo. Okay. okay. I blank not okay. have any regrets about things I missed. Okay. I don't have any regrets about the things I miss. Oh, okay. I wouldn't have any regrets, any regrets about the things I miss. Good. Right. So this is the continuation of, of, the, yeah. of part one. Yeah. I didn't realize that. So yeah, okay. So if I had been more adventurous when I was younger, I wouldn't have no regrets about the things I missed. Yeah, that's true. All right, let's see, Caddy, number three, it says, the airline lost my luggage if... If I had a route broke, a change of clothes in my carry on bag. I... If I had broke... Mm -hmm. Continue, please. So if I do three and four. I wouldn't. I, I wouldn't shop for a new clothes, but I have I have the number four with a mistake. Okay, yeah. Shopping. You know, wouldn't this is... Shopping. Wouldn't be shopping. Okay. Mm -hmm. I mean, I wouldn't... Yeah. But yeah, okay, this is supposing it's a present continuous action, you know? Mm -hmm. So the airline lost my luggage. If I had brought change of clothes in my carry-on bag, I wouldn't, wouldn't be, shop be shopping for new, oh yeah, I was here because it says now. <clears throat> mm -hmm. You know what is a carry-on bag? Yeah. Yeah. It's the one that you, you can take it's the with one you, that you take at the You know, I used to have a girlfriend that she worked in Taka and um, she worked in the ticket traffic. I think it's called traffic when, when you and she told me all the things that yes, all the things that you find in the bag. Like uh, people have taken live chickens. <laughs> alive, <laughs> like I see literally alive. <laughs> Oh, come Senora, on. you can't take it. But like really people from my campo, you know, senor. No, it's it's amazing. It's funny. All right, let me see who's next. Michelle, can you do number five and six? Let's see. This fly it's the wrong. Um, well, it's it's the answer already. If I hadn't bought an economy plastic. The other says, I would be more comfortable now. Comfortable. Comfortable. Híjole, le enseñé la respuesta. Sorry about that. <laughs> yes. This flight is so long. If I hadn't bought the economy mm -hmm. class ticket, I would be more comfortable now. Comfortable. Um, economy is a term for saying cuál es el más barato. Let me see. Gio, can you do number seven and eight, please? Okay. If, if you have learned to speak more Mandarin before moving to Taipei, you would be able to ask someone for directions now. Yes. Okay, let me see. Janira, can you do number nine and ten? If Marta hadn't become a flight attendant, she probably wouldn't travel as so much as she does. Very good. It's wouldn't travel because she does. So we're speaking simple present. Mm -hmm. So she still is a flight attendant and she travels. You know, 
flight attendant is like the job everybody wants to have. And I met people that when they have a flight attendant, I've had friends that after two years, they, they're sick. They don't want to do it anymore. And I said, man, that's crazy. You travel the world, you stay in hotels. Yeah, but at the beginning it's fun, but then it's boring. All right, so good job. And let me see what's next. Instructions, listen to Cindy and Scott talking about their travel problems. Check the statements you think are probably true and probably false. One, Cindy. You'll probably be surprised to hear what I did. I was on a business trip. The flight was a long one, and when I arrived at my destination, I was eager to get my bags and get to my hotel to relax. Well, you know, they always tell you to be careful to get the right bag, but I was in a hurry. You can guess what happened. My black suitcase looked just like every other one, so I picked up someone else's. I didn't realize my mistake until I got to the hotel. Well, I immediately called the airport, and fortunately, it all worked out. I had to go back to the airport, though, to pick up my suitcase and return the other one. And of course, I also had to apologize. If only I'd checked the name tag more carefully. It's funny. This sort of thing almost never happens to me when I travel. Two, Scott. This is kind of a funny story. I was in Panama City and had a layover between flights. I'd arrived at about 6 p.m. and my flight out wasn't until about 8.30. Well, my flight was delayed and delayed. It got really crowded at the departure gate. I was getting tired and there were so many people around I hate crowds, so I went to sit away from the departure gate to escape the crowds. I was reading my newspaper and feeling drowsy. I wish I'd slept on the flight to Panama. Anyway, the next thing I know, I wake up, and there's no one around. The crowd is gone. I'd fallen asleep and missed my flight. They must have made lots of announcements, and I missed them all. Boy, did I feel stupid. I had to stay in Panama City overnight and catch a flight out the next morning. Okay, Cindy has a unique, easy to see name tag on her luggage. Probably false. Probably false. Probably false. Cindy travels frequently. Yes, probably true. Yeah, probably true. Probably true. Scott likes peace and quiet when he travels. Yeah, probably, probably true. true. Scott slept soundly all the way to Panama City. Probably false. All right, cool. So in this class, we will learn vocabulary to talk about traveling. Let's see that. Hi, let's make compound adjectives together. Ready? Look at the following chart. Remember, some adverbs can be combined with adjectives to make compound adjectives. Culturally aware, culturally sensitive, non-conforming, non-judgmental, open-hearted, open-minded, Self-assured, self-motivated, self-reliant, self-starter. Type on our discussion box some sentences about travel using the words we just came up with. Follow my example. All right. So let's do this reading exercise, I'm seeing.
Okay, it says, travelers to a new city are often encouraged to talk about a bus tour, to take a bus tour, I'm sorry. The thinking is that they can later return to places that captivated them, but that's nonsense. nonsense. What you see from the inside of a fast moving bus is sanitized and unreal, utterly removed from the authentic sights, sounds and smells outside. The best way to experience any destination is by foot, without itinerary, wondering where your spirit leads you. Yeah, imagine a tourist here. Oh, I'll go to Soyapango at night. <laughs> La Even if, yes. Oh, Campanera. Oh, the bells. I want to go oh. see bells. <laughs> Even in the largest cities, the savvy traveler plunges into very into the very center of town and walks down the nearest street, experiencing actual life of people while looking into the grocery stores and courtyards. You eventually get too many of the same sites that are on the bus route, the museums, the monuments, the city hall, but you will have witnessed so much more because you will have felt contemporary life in the city you're visiting. But what if I get lost, people ask. No one ever gets permanently lost in a major city. Eventually, a trolley or bus passes with the words Central Station or its front, and you can easily return to the center of town. Besides, the most wonderful things can happen if you do get lost, such as stopping at a sidewalk cafe and sit and relax, then asking directions from locals at the next table. Hopefully your trip may be enhanced by this encounter. Here are a few ways to make most of your travels. Know before you go. Before you depart, spend, the time, spend time in a library or bookstore, learning about, learning about history and culture of your destination so you will better understand the place you're visiting. Move around like a, like a local. Use the local subway, trams, and buses. You will not only save money, you'll learn how people live there. You'll gain realistic perspective of the city. Check the bulletin boards. Bulletin boards list free lectures, concerts, workshops, and social gatherings, giving you a chance to join and meet the area's most dynamic residents. Take a walking tour. If you, if you must, book a guided tour. Select the non-standard, inexpensive kinds conducted on foot. So the next time you feel lured by sightseeing bus tour, save your money and instead wander around your own. I promise you a time you'll. I promise you a time you'll remember foundly. You know what people say about France? That France is actually a very dirty city. Like everything you see on on, um, on TV, it, it looks beautiful. But actually, when you walk around, they say that people are very dirty. They throw the garbage in the street and everything. I don't know. Has anybody ever been to France? No. Oh. No. I still I wouldn't mind living in France. <laughs> so number one, if something can captivates you, you're, you're delighted. Delighted by it. Delighted by it. You know what is the word delighted in Spanish? Um, como encantado. Uh, yeah, I would say encantado, encantada. A savvy traveler is experienced 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 if you plunge into an activity you probably throw yourself into it throw yourself into it if you enhance your reading skills you you upgrade them you upgrade them dynamic people are more more interesting than enough. others Okay. 
Let's do this listening here. Listen to two people talking about their friend Sue. Then check true or false. Hey, Mark, did you hear about Sue? What about her? She found a thousand dollars. Really? Where? She found it while cleaning up last weekend at the restaurant where she works. Wow! Did she find out who the money belongs to? She told me she found it under a table, and lots of different people were sitting at that table all night. So she has no idea whose money it is. Nope. She's going to wait until someone calls the restaurant and asks about the money. She didn't even tell the manager. Why not? She wants to keep the money if no one calls about it. Hmm. But I think she should tell her manager. They might be able to find the people by looking at the receipts. Yeah, but on the other hand, if no one calls about the money, then why shouldn't she keep it? Well, the money isn't hers. I think she should at least try to find out who it belongs to. Maybe the person just forgot the name of the restaurant or something. Yeah, I guess you're right. If I lost money in a restaurant, I would hope someone would try to find me. Exactly. Okay. Um. Next, it says Sue found some money where she works. True or false? Oh. True. True. Who said false? <laughs> True. No. Nope. Oh, okay. True. True. No, no. Someone said false. Prove it. No, I'm joking. <laughs> okay. It is Sue... the answer. <laughs> <laughs> Sue tried to contact people who were at the restaurant on the night she found the money. False. False. How the hell is she gonna do that? Like call all the customers. Yeah. The woman thinks Sue should tell her manager. True. Yeah, true. False. Yeah. False? Who said false? I mean, according to the story, it's true. Mm -hmm. At first, Mark thinks Sue should keep the money. True. true. Mark is cool. Mm -hmm. All right, let's listen to this one. Listen to a conversation between a student and his advisor. Then check the correct answers. Hi, Cal. Please sit down. What can I help you with today? I'm just having some problems adjusting and I need some advice. Okay. What are you having trouble with? Well, I can't seem to understand my professor's accent. I've been studying Mandarin for four years and it's discouraging to have to ask her to repeat herself all the time. That's understandable. But you've only been here a few weeks. Be patient. By next month, your Mandarin comprehension will have improved. I guess so. I didn't realize there were so many different types of accents. My classmates are hard to understand, too. Well, you can't expect everyone to sound the same. Where you're from, people have different accents, don't they? You're right, of course. I just worry about doing poorly in class. I'm sure your professor understands that it takes time to adjust to a new language. I hope so. There's something else, too. What's that? Well, you see, I'm vegetarian, and when I went out with my professor and classmates for lunch, they kept offering me meat. I felt rude refusing it. Hmm. I can speak to your professor about that if you'd like. Could you? Of course I want to be culturally sensitive, but I just don't eat meat. I'm sure your professor will understand after I talk to her. Thanks a lot. I feel a lot better now. Before arriving, Cal studied Mandarin? For four years. For four, four years. years. For, for four, four years. years. Cal feels discouraged to ask. His professor, His professor to repeat to herself. Repeat herself. All right. Cal's advisor encouraged them to? To be patient. patient. Cal worried about? Offending his classmates and professor. Yes. Okay, it says choose the terms and words. Choose terms and words. Doing something that is against the law is illegal. 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 Someone who's always who is always in a bad mood is my wife. 
Disagreeable. Disagreeable. Be irrational. I prefer bad move, bad mood to a worse mood. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Number three, punishing one person and not another for the crime is that's unfair. unfair. Okay. It's unfair. Number four, being blank is telling someone how you feel, how you really feel. Honest. Honest. <laughs> okay, number five, being on time to work and doing a good job is? Responsible. Responsible, Responsible behavior. Paper. The first one answered. Good. Making decisions when you're over emotional can be? Irrational. Irrational. Mm -hmm. Some parents are of their children's career choices. Disapproving. Mm -hmm. Being friends with someone you can borrow a car is? <laughs> Unscrupulous. Unscrupulous. In the last one. <clears throat> yeah, but this is wrong. Being friends with someone you can borrow a car. Mm -hmm. Actually, this would be being friends with someone you can borrow a car from. Is because you 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 always say, "I I'm going to borrow uh, money from the bank. I'm going to borrow money from my parents. I'm going to borrow money from my brother." You always say "from." So here you can borrow a car from. Part two, it says, I wouldn't return someone's wallet unless, unless a large unless amount of cash is in it. Cash. Or only if. Mm -hmm. Unless. I would buy a new gadget, blank. It really serves purpose that I need. Only, only if. If. if it's. I wouldn't give money to charity, blank. I have a favorite cause. Unless. 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 Unless I had a favorite cause. Unless I had a favorite cause, which would be David's charity. Mm -hmm. Blank. <laughs> the job paid a lot of money. I still wouldn't take it. I hate it. Even, even if. if. Even if. Even if. Mm -hmm. I would use a fake student ID to get a discount. Blank. I was really broke. Only if. Only if. Only if. if. I wouldn't report a classmate blank. She or he had cheated on the test. Unless. Unless. Yes, unless. All right, we got them all. Cool. All right, and we'll do part C tomorrow then. And finish okay. the rest. All right. To, All right. Tomorrow, tomorrow is the end of course, this course, this course. Yes. Tomorrow is the last day? Okay. Yes, unless you want to continue the whole week. No, I'm joking. It was an example, <laughs> unless. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Then, after, um, after this, what is next? Um, tomorrow, I, I, they will send you guys. Uh, um, I don't know if that, have they sent you a WhatsApp yet with information? Yeah. Yes. If not, I will resend it to you right now. I think they send it to me and I will resend it. If not, can you resend it to the class, Gio? Mm -hmm. Gio sure. Garcia. No, um, can the you resend the, the, what? the information <laughs> to the WhatsApp group? Uh, the We have to, to fill up the forms. That one? Or yes, which yes, one? please. That one. Mm. Well, the other courses mm -hmm. about Excel or mm. oh, there's also that Excel one? too. I don't know. The, design the graphic. Uh, <laughs> graphic no, design. I, 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 I thought you were talking about the the, mm -hmm. the field of forms for the other course. Not not yes, the, for this one. For that one, uh -huh. For the English, the English yeah. one. Yeah. What is the next level? 
Ah, the next level is the preparation for the TOEFL. For TOEFL. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, but that, that was seen, man, like two weekends ago. <laughs> yes, they send the, the, the information before vacation. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, I missed Yeah. Check on your WhatsApp. Yeah. Okay. If not, yeah, I will okay. resend it. Please let me know, okay, so I can resend it. Okay, thank you. Okay, so I will see you tomorrow, Chris. Okay. Bye. Bye. Good night. Bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Have a good night.